<laughs> Praise the Lord. Good morning, Derek. They were praying for America and spending time with the word. The joy of the Lord is our strength. Weeping did endure for the night, but it is morning and joy has come to God be the glory. Father, I thank you. I praise you and I magnify and exalt you for you are God and beside you there is no other. Have your way, Holy Spirit, as we pray for America and spend time with the word in Jesus Christ's most holy name. Amen. Isaiah chapter 33, starting at verse number two reads, but Lord, be merciful to us for we have waited for you. Boy, have we waited for the Lord. I'm telling you, Whew, glory to God. Be our strong arm each day. We need the Lord to be our strong arm each and every single day and our salvation in times of trouble. In the time of trouble, he shall hide me. In the secret place of his tabernacle shall he hide me. He shall set me up upon a rock, and now shall my head be lifted up above my enemies round about me. And at this time, I will praise the Lord and shout unto God with a voice of triumph. The enemy runs at the sound of your voice. That's what the Bible says. When you stand up, the nations flee. Ooh, what a powerful God he is, that when he stands up, the nations flee before him. Just as caterpillars and locusts strip the fields and vines. Yes, they do. So the falling army of Assyria will be stripped just like caterpillar and locust strip the fields of the vine. So my God, with the Assyria be stripped, so will our enemies be stripped. Do not fear. Take heart today. Be of good cheer because the enemy you see today, you will see no more. The wicked you see today will be stripped of their power, stripped of their authority in the mighty name of Jesus because the God who sits on us on his throne, does he have eyes that he cannot see? Does he have ears that he cannot hear? Does he have a mouth that he cannot speak? Does the God who make the eyes not see? Does the God who created the arms not reach? The arms of the Lord are not too short that it cannot reach. Let's pray. Mm. Oh my God, over America today. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, we are standing on the word of God. Father, we are believing in Jesus Christ's most holy name that you would do what you see fit to do here in America. We thank you. We bless you for the shaking across the land, the shaking from coast to coast, the shaking, Father God, has taken place even right there in our Capitol building, the shaking that is happening at every hearing, the shaking God that is happening in my God, the White House. Shake, shake, shake God for your glory. Shake, shake, shake God the Supreme Court for your glory. Shake, shake, shake God the senators for your glory. Shake, shake, shake God the representatives for your glory. Shake, shake, shake God the media for your glory. Father God, that the media will begin to report the miracles, the signs, and the wonders that you are doing for your glory and your purpose here in America. We thank you. We praise you because you are great, God. You do miracles so great. There is nobody compared to you. And we will be so careful, so mindful when we see things unfolding. Father God, to return back with a heart of thanksgiving and give you all all the praise, give you all the glory, gave you all the honor because it all belonged to you in Jesus Christ, most holy name on today. Praise ye the Lord. America will be a okay because God is on his throne. He sees it all. He knows it all. And when he steps in, no one will be able to stop the breath of God when he decides to blow and to God be the glory both now and forevermore. The Lord be with you and also with me. The Lord bless you and may you be strong in the Lord.
Do not lose heart. Do not give up hope. God has brought you this far by his grace, his mercy, and your faith in him. He will not abandon you. Oh my God. He is not a God who abandons. He is a God who embraces. And to him be the praise, glory, and honor. And until the next time, shalom.